wherever you went at the ground, everybody would have known who he was. And you know, he'd be, if there was a group of people having a drink in a bar before a match, he was in the middle of them. If someone had said to me, way back in 95, if anyone had said, Hodgie, this young guy one day will write books, will have a playmate that's in relation to Darwin Football Club. And I said, here, yeah, come on, pal, I'll take you to the nutty house now. You've got no chance. He would try getting me in trouble with things. Like he'd, he'd want me to tell jokes about disabled people. So he'd tell me jokes about disabled people and he'd try and get me to say it to get like a shock reaction from people around. And you see some of the looks on some people. He'd get me to say something to him as if I was bullying him <laughs> and make him look the victim and me look bad. I don't think about Paul as being disabled. I, I really don't. I mean, I mean, I know I'm not stupid. I know when I see him, the, 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 the diagnosis, whatever. But for me, when I speak to Paul, uh, I, I, you know, he stuts us a bit, but he's just a bloke to me. I mean, he's just a man. I mean, a very talented bloke and incredible. I mean, incredible strength and fortitude. I, I don't know where he gets it from. I, that itself is, is worth celebrating. Inspirational. Can it be anything other? anybody. It's best I found from the very, very early age that um, being disabled you have to you have to put more effort, effort in to be even noticed and I think as long as as long as as long as you are prepared to, to do that and I, I think eventually like you will succeed.